Shalom, shalom, beloved. Um, I'm switching Bibles. I'm gonna be reading uh, Genesis 28, Bereshith 28, out of the uh, scriptures Bible. Here I go. And Yitzhak called Yaakov and blessed him. And commanded him, and said to him, Do not take a wife from the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Badam Aram, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and take a wife for yourself from there, from the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. And El Shaddai bless you, and make you fruitful, and increase you, and you shall become an assembly of peoples. And give you the blessing of Abraham to you and your seed with you, so that you inherit the land of your sojournings which Elohim gave to Abraham. So Jichak sent Yaakob away, and he went to Badam Aram to Laban, son of Bethuel the Aramean, the brother of Rikba, of Rivka, the mother of Yaakob and Esau. And Esau saw that Yitzhak had blessed Yaakob and sent him away to Badan Aram to take himself a wife from there. And that as he blessed him, he gave him a command, saying, Do not take a wife from the daughters of Canaan. And that Yaakob had obeyed his father and his mother and had gone to Badan Aram. So Esau saw the daughters of Canaan did not please his father Jichak. And Esau went to Jishmael and took Mahalath, the daughter of Jishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Neb Nebaioth, to be his wife, besides the wives he had. And Yaakov went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran, and he came upon a place and stopped over the night, for the sun had set, and he took one of the stones of that place and put it in his head, and he lay down in that piece in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and saw a ladder set up on the earth, and its top reached to the heavens, and saw messengers of Elohim going up and coming down on it. And see, Yah stood above it and said, I am Yah, Elohim, of Abraham your father and the Elohim of Jishak, the land of which you are lying, I give to you and your seed. And your seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and you shall break forth to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and the south. And all the clans of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your seed. And see, I am with you, and shall guard you wherever you go, and shall bring you back to this land, for I am not going to leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. And Yaakob awoke from his sleep and said, Truly, Yah is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of Elohim, and this is the gate of the heavens. And Yaakob rose early in the morning and took the stone that he had put in his head, set it up as a standing column, and poured oil on the top of it. And he called the name of that place Baith El. However, the name of that city had been Lus previously. And Yaakov made a vow, saying, Seeing Elohim is with me, and has kept me in this way that I am going, and has given me bread to eat and a garment to put on, when I have returned to my father's house in peace, and Yah has been my Elohim, then this stone, which I have set as a standing column, shall be Elohim's house, and of all that you give me, 
I shall certainly give a tenth to you. Beloved, this was chapter 28 out of um, the book of Genesis. Bedesheath 28 out of the scriptures Bible. Shalom, shalom. I think I'm going to read one or two more chapters. Then um, I'm going to call it a night, beloved. Shalom.